Hi, this is Cass from Mozzie Cass Plays, and welcome to part 53, I think, of my uh, Celebrity Gold Digger Challenge. I almost said 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. Here's the thing. Dale and Caleb wanted everyone to come over to dinner at their house. Caleb put a lot of work in to getting a nice, you know, ham roast prepared. Actually, it was a turkey. He completely stuffed it. It was poor quality. Unsurprising. He's only got, like, level three cooking, I think. So we've all come out to a restaurant. This is, da in theory, Dale and Caleb are hosting, but obviously I'm playing Michaela, which does mean Michaela is taking the lead because I decided to play as my normal household instead of Dale's. I did contemplate playing as Dale and Caleb and just seeing what happened with the rest of the fam, but... That's all right. Now, obviously, the paparazzi are doing their usual thing. We've where's our table? You didn't give us a tiny table, did you? Can I did say request table? I don't know. Can we just request the big one? That'd be great. Come on, come on, let's do it. I love it when The Sims do what I want them to do. All right, looks like we're getting a table. It may not be big enough for everybody. I do have quite a large group. It's my normal four plus Caleb and Dale, Lilith and Nathan, Carissa's boyfriend. So, no, that is eight Sims, right? I think that's eight Sims. Look, we all fit. How exciting. All right, I'm just going to quickly order for everyone. Uh, Michaela. Also, Lilith, can you not? Wow. Oh, he's a celebrity. That's what's going on. No, stop. Sit. Sit at this table. I've decided we're sitting at this table. Please sit down. Thank you. All right, now I will have her order for the table just because I obviously have to because it's how it works. So I'm just going to click through. I won't record this part because there's eight Sims. <laughs> Excitingly, this restaurant had plasma fruit salad. So we'll see how that goes for Caleb and Lilith. Now, it's a bit weird. Oh, look, we've... Oh, that's cute. The game's put the two new... Cu the new couple at opposite ends of the table from each other. Like, they're the head of the table. That's so cute. Of course, it's put Carissa and Nathan nowhere near each other, and it's put Michaela next to Nathan and Dale. So, not perfect. But it did put Carissa and Michaela opposite one another. So, that's okay. Now, it is night on the town. And that did mean the meal was free, but that's fine. I really should have had the celebrities put disguises on, but I didn't. So the reason why we are here is because Dale and Caleb wanted to tell everybody something. So here they go. They've, I don't know why she stood up. You should be sitting. Well, I can sit back down. Oh, look, he's proposing. Oh my god, who knew? Dale obviously has said yes. Oh my god, you're ruining my screenshot, paparazzi lady. Really annoying. So there you go, they are engaged. I'm going to bribe her to leave because she's harsh in my vibe, honestly. Okay, now I have to, wait, stop. I have to congratulate, get off your phone, Michaela. We're going to ask about future plans. When's the wedding going to be? And we'll ask about Caleb's career. Look, the food's been delivered. So the vampires are having red wine and plasma fruit. I thought that seemed like the go. And, you know, everyone else is just doing assorted things. <gasps> He's thinking negative thoughts about Michaela. Interesting. Maybe Carissa's obviously been telling him Caleb is unemployed. Well, she's not really going to approve of that, is she? So she's going to... Let's see. I could ask for a loan. <laughs> uh, complain about local youths and their lack of employment. Not that Michaela can talk, honestly. She's never had a job in her life. Dale, sit down and eat, sweetie. This is cute. Look at them all having a dinner party. By the way, this lot, I should say, is from the gallery. It's called uh, Fiona's Function. Is the name of it. I searched for function hall restaurants because I wanted one that had a table big enough and I was too lazy to modify any of my... Excuse me? Wow, you're a useless chef. I mean, waitress. I don't know what I mean. Given Michaela's making eyes at Nathan a little bit here, which I think we can all see, we're going to criticize Michaela's style. 
you know, she's an adult now, maybe she should act her age. Of course, the fact that they're doing this at an engagement party is a little bit, you know, it's in poor taste, I'm not going to lie. Michaela did not take that well. Obviously, her and Carissa have not reconciled. I mean, that's unsurprising, all things considered. She's going to... Let's see. We're going to flirt across the table at Nathan. Just because look at these two. They are 100% making eyes at each other. Like, I don't think Nathan's just being polite. I honestly think... I mean, he did flirt back at... But then his eyes went straight back to Michaela. It's so interesting that he... Yeah... I don't know. There you go. We're going to have a new addition to the family. Now, whether Kale is going to turn, Caleb, obviously, where are you going, Carissa? It's obviously going to be something that we're, we're wondering, like Michaela's wondering, because if he truly loves her son, then wouldn't he, like, you know, want to be with him forever? And Michaela might actually start thinking about how this is a thing that she could do. All right. So Carissa's left the table. Where did she go? She's gone to the toilet. But I'm going to have Michaela throw a little flirt at Nathan and see what happens because she got quite annoyed by Carissa critiquing her outfit. And I think this is a good revenge, except she's not doing it. It was, oh, he reciprocated. He was making eyes at her. Now, did Carissa see it? I don't know if she did or if she's just responding to that whole free love trait thing that they've got going on. It's possible that she didn't. She is very tired. In fact, they're all very tired, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Ashley, don't be thinking about diapers. Now, are either of you actually hungry? Because we've got you've got a whole meal right in front of you. Can you please eat? All right, you also need to go to the bathroom and you need to go to the bathroom and you also need to come back and eat. All these Sims, so busy gas bagging, they're not actually taking care of their needs. So I don't know, let's say Carissa thought she saw something but she wasn't sure. So she's going, I'm going to have her just do this interaction, but she's kind of like, what are you doing? Uh, Michaela, didn't I tell you to go to the bathroom? I'm sure I did. That's awkward that she tried to talk to her BF about what she thought she might have seen. And then, oh, are you sick, honey? Oh, you, it's because there's only one toilet. Like one. The toilets must be gendered on this lock. She's obviously walked in on Ashley. Can you go to the bathroom, please? Are they gendered? Oh, that's interesting. They're gendered, but there's two cubicles. So in theory, they should have both been able to go. This is such a pretty lot, you guys. Like, I really love it. I am going to use this a lot in future. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's thinking negative thoughts about Nathan now. Did Nathan just try and flirt with her? And now she's thinking about squid monsters. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to interpret that. He's complaining about the cold. She's talking about herself. I mean, that does seem to be on track with what is normal so she's gone off to the bathroom so now is the time that carissa can actually be like what just happened i might have her be a little bit mean maybe like let's trash can i trash mckay oh hang on wait that's michaela wait stop i have the wrong blonde selected they all look the same uh okay can i trash michaela because that was a cool, here we go, that was a cool interaction. Let's see, she's going to talk her mum down, which obviously is a bit awkward in front of the new brother-in-law and sister of brother-in-law. Really? You need to go to the toilet, Lilith? That sounds terrible. I'll talk to Michaela myself, will you? Interesting. Oh, Lilith. Oh, it's because I made you eat, isn't it, honey? I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you'd be okay with plasma fruit salad, but apparently not. Oh dear. Probably stop eating, Caleb. I don't know if he can eat food or not. All right, so Michaela's come back out to the table. I'm thinking I'm going to take my Sims home just because they are all really tired. Oh, Nathan's asking for an autograph. Did she actually say yes, though? 
No, she's posing for photos. Okay. Maybe he wasn't asking for an autograph. Maybe he was asking to take photos. Of course, he didn't. All right. I'm going to send my guys home. Oh, we're all having a celebrity reaction to someone. Is it Carissa? It's weird because we're all in the same fam, right? Anyway, it's fine. I'm going to take my gang home. Like, my actual family home. But... There was definitely something, I felt like there was something between Nathan and Michaela. I felt like he was trying to act. No, see, I'm tempted to bring them all with me, but I'm not going to because my sims are shattered. They need to sleep. Um, but it seemed like he was trying to project disapproval of Michaela or that he didn't like Michaela but then he kept like making eyes at her and stuff I feel like there was definitely something there I mean he's not blind and clearly he she's his type because Carissa's his type and let's be honest they're cut from the same cloth physically this is why I keep getting them mixed up uh Caleb I didn't actually did I ask you to come over I didn't mean to can I get you to leave it's no offense buddy but you know Oh, it's New Year's Eve. Oh, it's seven in the morning. Oh, my Lord. Go home. Go home. Isn't there a thing that you can say, go home? I don't know where it sits. I'm clicking through friendly, but it's not there. Anyway, I'm going to send my Sims to bed. Now, I think, no, not coffee. Not coffee. Bed. I actually would like y'all to sleep. Now, Carissa, where are you at with work? Oh, she was meant to take three photos. I mean, that'll be super quick. Maybe I could just have her take some photos just generically. That'll be fine. And then she can go to bed. And she's actually, oh, actually, no, I took, do I need to? She's on leave, isn't she? Yeah, I don't need to worry about it. She can just go to bed. She's on uh, like two days of leave now. It's her weekend, which is cool. Michaela, you can also go to bed. She's feeling embarrassed from an embarrassing something, something. I don't really know. It is Saturday morning. We did stay out all night. Oh, no, you're not repairing the toilet. You don't repair things. And there's no toilet on that level. Oh, we've obviously had a ghost come through. Oh, that's right. We did, didn't we? So annoying. All right. And you need to get sleep as well. Now. A couple of things that I wanted to talk about. One is, what do we all think of Lilith as in Orange's ex-wife, Lilith turning up at the exact moment that she did? So it was quite interesting. Now, I think on watching the video, I think the reason that the sim actually showed up was because there was an interaction, like a phone call that he got, Orange got, that I clicked off. And it was when Orange's fame went up. It was one of those, hey, we're still friends, right? One of those ones. And the sim usually does just show up. So I think that's actually the mechanics of what happened when she showed up the way she did. Oh, honey, she didn't make it to bed. But I think that Lilith maybe heard that something had happened to Orange and she was turning up to investigate because she went to the exact location where Orange, where Orange died. It was like she knew. So I think that's really interesting. The other thing, oh, Nathan's inviting her out for breakfast. He's sorry for her loss. She's not. <gasps> okay, so she did see the flirt. I didn't think she did because she didn't do anything, but she's sad because her soulmate is not interested in her from being jealous. Interesting. That's cool. I'm pleased about that because the other thing I want to talk to you guys about, I think Michaela's acquired her next target. I think that the combination of Carissa continuing to be a jerk, basically, to her, combined with the way that Nathan reciprocated that flirt means she, there's a couple of things going on. One is she wants to punish Carissa for doing what she did with Ross. The other thing is that she wants to punish Nathan for daring to think about betraying her daughter because even though she's mad at her daughter she does not hold with people betraying her daughter <laughs> so yeah I actually think that she wants to murder Nathan and of course Michaela only has one way of murdering people she seduces them 
marries them for their money and then kills them because otherwise it's a waste. So I think that Nathan is going to be Michaela's next target. Obviously, this is going to have a pretty dire effect on her relationship with Carissa. There is no way that Carissa is going to see this as an act of goodwill on her mother's part. So, yeah, there's definitely there's going to be fireworks, you guys. We can all see it coming. Poor Dale and Caleb having these two snarking at each other and ruining the engagement party. But, I mean, do we really expect better of either of these sims? I know I don't. <laughs> so, what's up, Hamza? Go away. What's up, buddy? You have to pee. Well, go to the toilet then. Don't be just standing there. Oh, Ross, is, he is around. So I'm going to get him to do that and then take a shower. And I think I'm actually going to end this part here, you guys. In the next part, I think that Michaela is going to try and make a move on Nathan. And we'll see how it goes. I think given the way he responded to that flirt, he's probably going to be up for it. We'll see how she whether she can pull that off. But yeah, it's it's going to be fireworks because there is one thing that Carissa will not put up with more than anything else, which is her mother stealing her, uh, what is he? They exchange promise rings. I don't know if that makes him her future fiance. Is that what a promise ring is? I don't really know. <laughs> So, and they're both adults now, so if the promise meant anything, they would have acted on it. And they have been sleeping together for since they were teens, actually. They've been messing around since they were teens. So, you know, promise rings. Ooh, not super worth the, the ring that they're written on. I'm not sure. But either way, Carissa is not going to put up with Michaela encroaching on her turf, as demonstrated by the fact that her soulmate is uninterested and she's feeling sad about it. So... It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.